It's never over. Hey guys, today we'll be doing an opening, and the opening will be the new <laughs> Ex Vidramon and Gallimon starter deck. So they finally arrived, finally in the mail. Finally, I'm just waiting for my my double my double diamond booster box to come in. Sorry about that. Really, I'm sorry about that. Do apologize. Um, I was gonna put some cyber. Dra I did get the cyber dragon structure deck and all that stuff, but it was not doing well, so I took that. So I finally got one of the one of each in the mail. I was really happy that they came in time, but I'm hoping that. I get my booster box in Christmas time, uh, you know, um, this month, I'm hoping, this week. If not, uh, I'm going to be so pissed. But yeah, I got these. And also, yes, this is a My Hero Academia collectible card game playmat. This is a All Might. Um, we had All Might, we had Deku, we had... Um, uh, Bakugo. And I bought the All Might one because it looks really, really cool in All Might's way. I don't play the coll uh, collectible card game. I just want to use the new play mat just for these bad boys. So, I will be doing is opening one of each separate videos. So, let's start out with the Gallimon star uh, starter deck. Because seriously, Gallimon is one of my favorites. And making another Gallimon deck profile will be so great to just have it. And just, you know, have people be happy with it. Because I know that the first Gallimon uh, video that I've ever done, it really did well. I did, like I think it's like 700 views or 500 views. I do not know if I have to check again. But, you know, having that is really awesome. So, let's start talking about this. So, this is the new Gallimon starter deck. And this is the star starter deck number 7, which is really good. We're gonna be starting that, yeah, because no, no. And what is cool is that they brought some new cards, some reprints, some really great, great, great things about this, and includes six bonus super rare cards. So you can see the uh, the shield says here, like you know, the contents of this, you know, ready to play 54 card deck, uh, memory gauge cards, in, uh, index card, one hour interesting campaign cards, six of them. Two types of cards, the Digimon cards, the Digi Eggs, and the Option cards. Pretty cool that they changed this from the original uh, packaging that they had. I really wish that they re that did a reissue of the original Star uh, Starter decks because I really want to collect them all. I only have the red one and the uh, the green one. Uh, the other ones I couldn't get because they're so hard to get and they're really expensive. Then we have the um, the card list here. Uh, you can screen that shot if you wanted to see that. Then we have the typical cards, etc. And enough of that. Let's open this. I actually don't want to ruin the packaging. Uh, give me a second. I gotta get my uh, trusty tool. I started this video without my tool, and I can't find it. There it is. Found it. Found it. Found it. This is really good just to cut the the the. Uh, these stupid uh, the, the tape. I really don't want to mess up the uh, the box because I actually keep the boxes of Digimon stuff. Yes, I do keep all the Digimon boxes. And we actually, um, I was thinking of buying um, a first edition, uh, you know, one of the first BT booster boxes because um, we might get that in my locals. So I'm hoping that. Okay, there we go. We got it. We got it. So three, two, one, and there we go. Hey, that's pretty nice. So let's start with, ooh, I see something nice. I see, what is this? Whoa, whoa, what is this? That is, are these like, yo, these look nice. Yo, they have this critical feeling. Yo, that's nice, that's dope. Like the gold point, that's pretty good. So, you guys, so let's see our six um, exclusive cards with this new rarity. I don't know what um, I'm gonna call it par parallel um, rarity of what it is, but that looks pretty nice. That's pretty nice. So you got uh, Agumon there. So the new thing about these new uh, the new cards from this set uh, from the Star Decks and the new set um, Double Diamond, it will have this little diamond on the bottom with a number so nobody knows what it does uh we are thinking that is for a standard rotation format or something else for tournaments in general we don't know about that but so far it's still a mystery for everybody um i hope we get more uh, uh information in the next year or so i'm hoping that but yeah um pretty cool so this is a, a three cost and then it has the um the security uh, yeah i activate this 
I place this card in your battle area. And it reads, um, reveal the top four cards of your deck. Add one red Digimon amongst them to your hand. Place one of the remaining cards uh, bottom onto your deck in any order. Then place this card into the battle area. Brilliant. Then it has the new information main card delay. Delay means it tries this, this card from the battle area to activate the effect below. You can activate this effect uh, the turn this card enters the battlefield, um, enters the play. So you gain two memories to do the delay effect. Okay, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, it's stuck. Oh god, it's stuck. Okay, okay, got, got it, got it. Okay, we got the first one. Okay, never mind, we got it. Okay, so now, ooh, <laughs> the shimmer can't even. So the play costed three, and then this is called blue memory booster, and then that one was red memory booster. I think this is the same effect, but blue. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's the same thing. It's the same one for blue overall. And then, oh, we got the uh, yellow as well. We have the yellow red boost. Okay, pretty cool. You have, this one had Vidramon. This one has uh, Agumon with Wargreymon. So, yeah. Oh, then we got the green one, which is uh, Warmon. Yeah, my boy with Stingmon. Yes, yeah, my boy. I love you. I love you. You know that. It's my boy. Then you got uh, Haru Harugi, the Black Memory Booster. Pretty cool. I think these are all the boosters that we can get. Oh, shit, shoot. This was very uh, sneaky. Then we got the purple one with um, Devi Merimon and then Devimon. Pretty cool. So we get that. Pretty cool. Um, I think we get this same thing as the, the ones that we get. I think, uh, let me check the box here. Uh, yeah. The six anniversary card. Oh, yeah. This is right here. That the six anniversary cards included this product also has the same as the uh, the Ultra Force Vitra Moon. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty neat. We get some really nice cards. Parallel, um, I'm gonna call it parallel rare. I don't know what's the the, the official thing, it, but it's really cool that we get one of each, and I hope that we can get and now we're gonna get a place of two of each. So that's pretty cool, I gotta say. Love that they did that well care detail for everybody. For your girl. And these memory gauges, these are this is credit card feel, like wow. And then you have that like like little shimmer. You can see my hand, but you can't see my you can see like the, the silhouette of myself. Hi. And then that's pretty cool. I got you got um Ghoulimon, and then you have uh, Galamon. Pretty nice, I gotta say. Um I was hoping to get an, uh, I was hoping to get another uh more of these just to see if I can make a place it. So yeah, you have here our deck. Nope. Yeah. yeah, see, simple as that. Simple as that, um, pretty much. And then what is this? This is the, uh, oh yeah, this is how the digital card instructions. Oh, we got instructions here and in here. And I think, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we got instructions. Here's how to play the game um, overall. But yeah, enough of that. Let's talk, let's see about this. So let's check that to the side. So let's see what are these new cards. I'm actually here's the thing. I didn't see anything about these cards. I actually wanted to be um, surprised. The only things that I knew about this is how, what they were overall, but I didn't know what the cards did. So obviously, all of them will have that little diamond number on this. I'm still hoping to see. So yeah, Gigimon, and then has the effect on the inheritable effect is your turn once per turn when an opponent's Digimon is deleted. This card, uh, this Digimon gets an additional two K of DP for the turn. That's pretty good actually. If you're doing, if you have a Digimon that can uh, blitz or restance or anything like that to attack again, this is really good for that. And I think we get four copies of them. Yes, we do. We get four copies of that. Pretty cool, I gotta say, for what it is. Uh, we gotta put that there. Then we got a new Mono Dragmon, pretty cool, a two cost uh, drop, and then it's a three DP, pretty cool. Um, a lot of people in red decks, this is a good two cost to just drop and just use it for, you know, for those little rushes, that's pretty good, okay? We got that. Well, so we're gonna put this right here. Then we got the uh, new Agumon, nice. This is a new Agumon, it's a cost three. And it has the uh, the same effect, I think, I think you know. It says, when attack, and the hammer, when attacking, uh, when this Digimon attacks a player, it gets additional 2k for the turn. Pretty good, actually, that's pretty good. Just attacking in general, getting uh, an additional 2k is pretty good. So far, I think we get four copies, so that is true. Oh, oh, then we get Ghoulimon. Oh, that's a tree. It's pretty neat. That looks pretty cool. I gotta say, that looks nice. So, obviously, I need to get another t another two of these. So, I need to buy two more of these to make a playset, I think. 
um, overall. So let's see what it does. And it's a play cost of three. It has a zero digit evolution. It has uh, is 2k of DP. And then it says in your turn, if your opponent has a level six or higher Digimon in play, this Digimon can evolve into Gatlamon in your hand. Frame rate cost of four, ignoring its Digimon, requ uh, Digimon uh, requirements. So this is pretty good for the old Gatlamon as well. Just having that is just amazing. And then it has the other one. Um, I draw once per turn when your opponent Digimon is deleted, trigger draw one card. Pretty good effect. And I think we do get two. We get two. We only get two. So I hope to get a play set of these in the future. Pretty nice. And then we got Bioman as a blocker. That's actually pretty cool. And just having a three four cost blocker is just really uh, sometimes good. Hatching in an egg, bring it out. It's pretty good. Um, sometimes it's, it's just good. Uh, but obviously, people just use it for the one cost digit evolution uh, blockers, which is real okay. That's nothing wrong. Then we got those. Sort of, and then we get, ooh, Growlmon. We got Growlmon, boys. Looks pretty nice, I gotta say. Um, this plan number already. It's a play cost of four, which is it's not that bad for a, a four cost. For a level four, and it has a play cost of uh, Digivolution of two, five k. Groundmon uh, has the little diamond. It has the inherent ability of the stir. Once per turn, when your opponent's Digimon is deleted, you get one memory. I think we get two. We get two only, which is kind of disappointing. Yeah, I can understand that they want you to buy more of these. So, <laughs> hey, it's all right. So we got oh, we got a Geo uh, Greymon. This has the security fit at the end of the battle. At the end of the battle, this card. Can be played um, without its memory cost. Is a security, which is pretty good. Has a two-digit evolution uh, cost. Is play cost assist five k five k. And then on the lead, on play, the lead one of your opponents is with four k or less DP. That's actually pretty good because if you have um, some rookies there, a rookie rush, it's pretty cool. I gotta say. So we got four four copies of that. Pretty nifty. Then we got Dark Tyranomon, which uh, which is okay. It's a, it's just a different ultra art of Tyranomon because the original Tyranomon we got, we, uh, I think, from... Ooh, what was the BT of that one? Had the exact same, I think, stats. If to, Don't quote me on that because I got to check now. But still, it's really good. Just a one-cost uh, Digivolution level four, uh, level 4. It's just really good for a, champ, uh, for a champion. But yeah. Neato. Then we got another, uh, we have Ground Dramon, eh, a new artwork of Ground Dramon, pretty cool, not not too shabby, play cost of 6, 2 the Digi Evolution, 6k, pretty cool, I gotta say, only 2 of these, which is alright, then we have the new Rise Greymon, this is actually something that I might play, uh, might use, uh, really cool Rise Greymon, I gotta say, so this one has a play cost of 7, has a Digi Evolution, uh, Digi Evolution cost of 3, it's 7k, this is one of the new ones, and says on play, delete one of your digital with 5k or less, pretty nice, I think we get 2, no, we get 4, pretty cool, we get 4, and then we have War Growlmon, his ultimate form, this is a play cost of 8, Digi Evolution of 3 has a play cost, uh, DP of 8. And it's just one attacking, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 3,000 DP or less, which is okay. Which is alright. I, I think it's alright um, overall. And then has the inheritable effect. Uh, once per turn, when an opponent's Digimon is deleted, this turn, this uh, gains a uh, security attack plus one. That's actually pretty good. This I can see this um, being played in some get um, security control decks. And I think we get, we get four of these. Whoa, wait, there's something stuck here. Oh, oh, it's the, oh, wait, it's Gallimon. Oh, there we go. We're going for Gallimon now. I, I gotta see that. Okay, uh, we're gonna put this right there. Okay, now we're going for the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the Mega. So, that is a really nice picture of Gallimon there. Wow. Seeing Gallimon again. And this is, he cost three Gallimon, which is amazing. Um, play cost 11, Digit Evolution cost of three. As, um... Secure, secure attack plus one, and then has one attacking the one of your opponent's Digimon with 4,000 or less DP if no Digimon was deleted by this effect. This turn, this gains 3k booty stack. Oof, that's actually pretty good. I'm actually happy with that. And then we get, we do get two, we do get two, which I'm happy. And then we get a nice Shine Greymon um, foil there, which is pretty good, I gotta say. Let me check the Shine Greymon. This is a pretty good Shine Greymon, I gotta say, uh, for what it is. This is actually pretty good for my, uh, uh, Greymon Omni deck. So it has a security attack plus one, uh-huh, that'll be my best bad. Play cost of four, uh, 12, 
uh, Digivolution, uh, Digivol yeah, Digi Evolution cost of four, 12k move, and that's not bad. And has secure attack plus one, it has piercing, that's actually pretty good. And I think we get two, no, we get four, <laughs> that's actually pretty good. Making a Shine Greymon deck, this is actually gonna be a really fun Shine Greymon deck if you ever do that, but yeah, that's pretty good. Then we got the new option card, which is Lightning Joust, um, has a play cost of one, that's actually pretty busted. First of all, uh, and it reads. <clears throat> Main phase, one of your Digimons get an, an additional tw 2k for this turn. Then, if the number of cards of your security attacks is less or equal to your opponent's security attack, security, security, one of your Digimons gain a, a security attack plus one. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. If um, if uh, your opponent is going for a security attack and you're going to do a big attack against him, this is a good combat card. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Pretty nifty overall. Pretty nifty, I gotta say. Then we got an Atomic uh, Blaster. Choose one. Uh, set, it's a play cost of five. And then it says, main, choose any number of your opponent's Digimon whose total um, DP adds up to a, uh, to a total of 8k or less to delete them. That's actually another good thing to just kill rush rookie rushes or anything like that. Or just blockers in general. Pretty good. I think we get a... Well, we total four. Yeah, we did get it. And then we got the reprint for Gaia Force. A lot of people were happy. Uh, were ha are gonna be happy for this Gaia Force reprint. I have the original Gaia Force, which I still love those ones. And I think we get four copies of Gaia Force, which is pretty nice. And this is one has always been one of the most expensive cards of the red deck. Was that? And yeah, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Wow. I gotta say, this is really good. I'm actually gonna be buying another one of these red ones. Uh, just to get that, those two Golimons and two more Galamons. And I think more of the, uh, this guy, uh, Growlmon. And the, I think we did get four copies of them. The Shine Greymon is actually, uh, really great. I gotta say, the Shine Greymon, the Galamon, everything on this is really terrific. All the cards are really terrific. They're really nice. They're really good. I like the quality they put. Like, they put this, like, this, like, diamond parallel, uh, rarity on this uh i'm gonna call this diamond uh diamond parallel and then we got these those additional cards um overall so i'm gonna call this diamond parallel for myself but overall the card's really good and help it and this making um the other with the other gallimon stuff that we have originally i'm gonna make a, 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 a really cool gallimon deck it's gonna be so good so terrific to see gallimon back in in action and we're gonna be getting some major things with this I gotta say, I don't know if I'm gonna be running the, uh, four copies of this, but I hope I can get, uh, I hope I do. Just have a bunch of uh, copies of Gallimon, it's just great. Overall, this is great. Um, I give it a solid um, 9 out of 10. The reason why I give it a solid 9 out of 10 is that I wish to give you two more copies of Gullimon, because here's the thing, since it is centralizing Gallimon, they should give you two more copies of that. I, I, I can see myself just, you know, Buy another structure decks of this, star decks of these, and just you know, hey. But overall, terrific. I gotta say, good job, Digimon. You did you did good with the starter deck. Now, now, fellas, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like this video, like, comment, subscribe, turn that little notification button down below for every time when the new video comes out. And if you didn't like this video, there's a door, and there's a window, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.